All right, we're working on the mantle clock project and I want to show you a feature called a sweep cut and it's not necessarily, uh, this isn't a how-to video as far as step-by-step -step, so you're going to need to use your own dimensions here but it's just going to show you that feature. All right, so um, after I create a new part file, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new sketch and I'm going to make a, a three by nine rectangle but yours might be you know a different dimension depending on what you need to do. I'm going to extrude that. Uh, 0.75 so that's the thickness of your board so here's my board and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna think about this as a profile of a um, of a routered edge the routered edge we're gonna use is called a Roman OG it's gonna look like this there's a couple lots of different profiles and things like that of what it looks like so we're gonna start on this edge create a sketch and then we're gonna go ahead and put the profile of the of the Roman OG on there okay so um, actually, I'm going to start with a little three-point arc right here on the corner. Drag it down a little ways. Kind of put a you know a rounded edge on that a bit, if you will. And then we're going to kind of come out with a straight line, just a little bit, not much. Back to a three-point arc. Drag it here. Click it maybe somewhere down in here-ish. This one's going to go in a little. And then end with a straight line. It doesn't have to be dimensioned. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to snap it to that bottom line. Create another line to there. And the last line to here. So that way you got your whole profile created. So once you have the profile created, you can hit Finish Sketch. Now what you're going to have to have uh, to do a Roman OG is uh, basically, um, to do a sweep I should say, sorry, uh, is a profile and then a path for the profile to follow. So that's my profile sketch, all right? So I can actually double click in there and I can, I can name this uh, if I want to profile. Make life easy for myself. I can start a new sketch and I want this sketch to... Uh, to actually be on the way I drew this anyway has is on the bottom of this part so that's a new sketch I'm going to project the geometry which is going to create the path that I need finish sketch that's it so now this one becomes double click oops my bad I click click a little fast there click once click again real slow and this is my path sketch so now I'm going to go ahead and go back to uh, my home view and I'm going to use the sweep tool. I'm going to switch it to cut right away. Profile is here at highlights. That's good. Path is down here at highlights and then hit OK. And now you can see uh, you just create created your fancy top plate or decorative top plate as we call it. So that's one way to do it. Um, obviously, we could roll this back for a second just to kind of show you. And then if I want to do a, a round over, simply once I have my part designed, it's a fillet. All your edges. Uh, quarter inch, 0.25. There's your round over for your side pieces and things like that. I just kind of made it upside down, but you get the drift. And uh, those are a couple different ways to put decorative edges, like if you're going to router it in, in wood. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Good job.